let's learn about enzymes, we're going to look at the enzyme bromelain found in pineapple. I have my two assistants here, Luna and Remy, and together we're going to be making strawberry jello. Oh, pineapple, you're not an apple. You're not related to apples in any way. You don't taste like an apple. You don't even come from a pine tree. Why are you called a pineapple? We're gonna make two different batches of jello. For Remy's jello, we're gonna use a fresh pineapple. For Luna's jello, she's gonna use canned pineapple. All right, so our jello is now done, and there's an obvious difference between Luna's jello. It has solidified, it has done what jello is supposed to do. But if we look at Remy's jello, it is very different. It is a liquid, it did not become solid jello. And the reason is remember that Luna's jello is made with canned pineapple, and Remy's jello is made with fresh pineapple. So we mentioned that. Pineapples have an enzyme in them called bromelain. Bromelain is an enzyme that breaks down proteins. And so a protein like collagen, collagen is the protein that we use to make jello. Collagen is found in most mammals. And so like these two mammals here, they are 30% collagen. And so enzymes speed up reactions. They usually speed up a reaction of breaking apart things or building things. We call them biological catalysts. And so this bromelain, the enzyme found in pineapple, is a biological catalyst that breaks down proteins like collagen. So why is it different when we have fresh pineapple compared to canned pineapple? Well, when we sell canned fruits and foods, we have to boil them. We make sure that they are sterile, so we are boiling them, so that way we get rid of any bacteria that could grow inside the can. And so when we boiled this pineapple before we put it in the can, what it did was it denatured the bromelain protein, of the enzyme. And so if the fresh pineapple still has the active bromelain enzyme. <laughs> 